Hi, I'm Rosie from Bayer and we are one of the sponsors of Hands Free Hector and we're down in the field today in the middle of the spring to support the team with some new technologies to help with the agronomy of the crop. So in the field this year we have a crop of winter wheat. Now one of the biggest yield robbers in winter wheat is the disease and the number one wheat disease in the UK being septoria. What happens is that a spore um, comes in and lands on the leaf. It then, um, once it's on the leaf, it then um, grows some fungal hyphae within the cells and this um, process lasts for about two to four weeks whereby you can't see any visual symptoms. After those two to four weeks, you then start to see a, a yellow-brown lesion on the leaf with black pycnidia within it and this is what causes the yield loss because it's lost that green photosynthetic area and therefore can't ultimately produce energy to produce yield. And the aim of this project is to develop an automated spore trap. The three pieces of equipment which we have here today demonstrate the evolution of the technology within the project. While this is the prototype machine, we're also developing the machine which we hope to sell um, in the not too distant future, which is the machine at the end. And we hope that with that we'll be able to, farmers, agronomists, research institutions, will be able to deploy this machine to get instant, real-time data on what spores, if any, are present in their fields at a given point. Uh, well, Ros, um, we had two steps here. Our uh, first step was to choose a variety of winter wheat that had good disease scorings. Um, and we chose KOS Zaya. Um, and then secondly, we actually drilled on the 17th of November to, re to, to help the pressure of disease going forward. Um, then in the, in the new year, we, we were, had, uh, the plan was to do a T0 um, to protect the crop, so getting any septoria and any other diseases like yellow rust. Um, however, the, 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 the weather we've had this year has really hampered our progress with this crop when it came to fungicide application. So unfortunately we didn't get our tino on. However, that later drilling helped this crop with disease level. And um, uh, this is actually a, a piece of the Zayat that uh, our rover got out of the field. And as you can see, um, this is the flag leaf coming out now, two and three, and they're very, very clean. And actually the leaves below this was also clean. So that later drilling culturally helped us. Uh, T1 timing actually fitted in quite well for the weather pattern we had here. Um, we recently did that with an um, aviator um, with a, with a multi-site claw fan mill um, and we dropped a bit of PGR in there and trace elements to help the crop um, and to stabilise the tillers with the PGR. Uh, we've been here today running some of our spore samplers to try and detect um, airborne uh, spores of um, yellow rust and septoria but primarily um, septoria spores. And we just completed our tests here with the um, automated spore detection system prototype spore trap. Um, so if we zoom in and we can have a look at some of the results. Um, so essentially what we're seeing here is out of a, a series of eight wells we're starting to get some amplification here which suggests that we have detected, um, a su successfully sampled and detected very low levels of septoria uh, triticide spores using this spore trap. 